it was really hard for me to nail down like what which painting I want to talk about. Um, I kind of wanted to do my video, but it's four minutes long, so I suggest people go watch it. The video itself was supposed to be an installation, so that was kind of like a hard thing to be like, how am I going to make an installation in my house now? Um, I guess my whole entire thesis is like, I've struggled with depression my whole life. Um, it's been something I've had since like a child, so, but to help me through that, I've collected like just moments in pictures and like little things I find and then I have like just pictures in my phone and I have stuff that I've just collaged together and I really struggle with how to make that a thing and how to make that into a, an art piece and I know in the beginning I was sort of like just drawing a lot um, and then I like didn't really know where I wanted to go with it and then once I took this painting class in um, over winter him, and that's when stuff started getting like, and I just remember turning to Mike and being like, is, is the world always been like this? And like, I'm just a young adult, like that is just was clueless <laughs> until right now. And he was like, I don't know how to answer that. And I thought that was like kind of like, I don't know, interesting moment. And I tried to take like those feelings of like anxiety and Put it into paintings and find like little bits and pieces of things that you could turn into that like in this painting that's shown it's kind of like um tragedy and comedy um because it's like a scary like like laughing face and then a mean face and then i take like little bits and pieces of other things if mike wants to go to the um my car one that's like the newest one i did um I did this all here in my room and it was oil paints. I had to have all the windows open so I didn't like fume myself out. But it's actually like the, the car was a car crash that Ryan Newman was in that Donald Trump watched and then like left like after. Um, and he almost died. So I thought that was like an interesting little picture. So I wanted to bring that in. The text was from like a sign I saw from a really overpriced parking garage in Boston. It said, thank you for choosing us. And I was like, I didn't want to. So <laughs> just didn't have a choice. And then the guy's like the Wrangler cowboy. And he's like wrangling like from the jeans. He's like wrangling the, you know, car in. And I, every piece has like little things like that that I don't necessarily expect the viewer to get immediately. But I want maybe to have like that second level of thought that you could bring into like the media that you're listening to and like different things that are presented to you on a daily basis so that you have to be like oh like maybe that wasn't the truth because I'm constantly I'm a bartender in town well I was <laughs> um, and it was like you would get people and they would not they'd understand like this one specific thing and then you bring them like a second level down and then that changed their whole perspective on 10 other things so I think that's important but yeah, I just rambled. <laughs> well, I think uh, you really brought everything together, Christine. I think these pieces are uh, amazing because um, I saw you struggle in the fall and mm -hmm. trying to get this to work aesthetically. And I feel like you've nailed it and you've figured out this kind of illustrative style to paint that works super well. And you've got the images layered really nicely. Um, yeah, I think, I think you, you knocked it out of the park. So, uh, these are really impressive. <laughs> that makes me want to cry. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a struggle for sure, but <laughs> I feel like I've caught on to a, uh, a, like, a, a wave now and I'm just like putting all these images together so I can paint them when I have like the ability to which is helpful down, but. I really like all the meanings. I like that you have all these subtle meanings and in, uh, in, in your pieces, it's fun. Thank you. Yeah, I want it to be like a puzzle. Ish. <laughs> I have a question for anyone and everyone who wants to um, pick up on it. Um, being an art historian, I was wondering influences you were looking at in your work, whether you're looking at previous artists or previous designers or kind of what your research process was like. So for example, 
if you made a pesto bottle, did you go down the aisles of Hannaford and look at all the other um, sauce bottles? Or um, if you weren't looking back at the history, how do you kind of see yourself as participating in a visual, artistic, or design conversation that's happening today? So just curious about some of your um, thoughts on where you fit in sort of the history of art and the art that's happening right now. I watch a lot of R21 and then I just like find like different things that I like I'll watch R21 when I'm painting so I feel like it gives me more motivation <laughs> but um I found Jamie and uh Juliana Villani and she's probably she like literally put everything I was thinking into like a valid thing and like a valid process for me and I think that helped me out a lot which I feel like I would have gotten there eventually, but she just made a shortcut for me, which I don't know if I'll be doing for the rest of my life, but it definitely was nice. I was thinking a little bit of David Sally with your work too, kind of an opposite political message from him, but the way that he takes uh, naturalistically painted um, appropriated imagery and puts it together in a way that you're not sure where it came from or why it's next to um, the other images. It's just thought-provoking. 